I'm upgrading all my cars for 2023. All of them must go. If you get stuff like Rolls Royces and Ferraris, you have to make sure they're under warranty. And some of my stuff, like my old Cullinan, I had since 2020. This is the new one. This is the brand new 2023 Black Badge Edition Rolls Royce Cullinan. These go for 600. I traded my old Rolls Royce Cullinan in. I hit a pot. I hit a pothole. You guys probably saw me on Instagram. And I'm filming stories just ranting. And then I just, boom, hit a pothole. And just the air goes flooding out the tire. I knew it was done. That second in my heart, the car was gone. People are like, Wes, you get rid of cars because you get a flat tire? Not really, but yeah, I didn't want to deal with it. That car was off a of warranty. It had to go. I didn't want to deal with the bent rim or any problems like that anyways. So I just told my boy at Champion Motors, Roman, what's up, big homie? I told him to come pick up that Conan, and he already had a new one waiting for me. This is, this is the one. You guys, this is the one. Factory matte paint. You know it's a black badge edition, but this isn't painted. This is more of a metallic black chrome, and that's a whole different edition. These are 600,000. They start at 569 plus tax. Do the math, about 620 out the door on the 2023. We got 26 inch Forziatos on it. I always wanted to do something different with these rims than the ones on the Phantom and the ones on the Maybach. So I got a more spoky rim on here. I'm thinking about painting the calipers to match the inside. Come see the inside. I went with the blue. You know it's a black badge edition when it has this carbon fiber. It makes it look so much better than in the other ones. This one's just luxurious. This one's got the, the Conan floorboards. The, the steering wheel's different different uh, carbon fiber right here, all the accents throughout the dark hardware on here and the dark hardware on all these just gives it a different look. I mean, I'm just gonna always have the fly -a ship. Before I went to prison, I had that Range Rover, white on white 24s. It was like the same time Kim Kardashian had her white Rover on white 24. She had like pink highlights on it. This is when they used to have these things called magazines, you youngsters. There was actual magazines car company magazine. I think it was called Rides or something. I don't know what the car magazine was called, but I see her car in there. I had the same car at the time. I always had fly ass rides. That's just, I always loved them. If you're not a car guy. I don't know what the fuck's the matter with you. Just, I don't know what the fuck you were playing with. Barbies? Because we were playing with Hot Wheels. And so then we ended up growing up and getting them. I like the back in here. They did the back panel right here in blue. And I like bright interiors on black cars. I'm gonna go bright interiors on my, all my black whips, and that's just what I'm doing this year. You can't break my code. You can't break my code. You can't break my code. Yeah. Best key in the game. I got one coming that is actually just like the Ferrari symbol right here on the front, to where the key's gonna look exactly like that. And it's just sick. It's just styling. They get it done right. If you guys want to know the story, it was Saturday night. I was kind of, I was kind of being a little broad a little bit, arguing with my chick about some flights that she missed. I should have just let it go. But I got a little pissed about it. We started fighting a little bit. I mean, we're good now, so don't trip. But um, I swear to you guys, my biggest weaknesses are probably pastries and the strip club and women and stuff like that. I, I don't... I don't partake in that shit, but I always think when I get in a fight with my shit, fuck it, I'm going to the strip club. Fuck it, I'm going to the strip club. I didn't go, but I called my boy. I said, hey, can you open the dealership? This was 10 at night, way past my bedtime. I was just all up in my head. You know how it gets. You know how relationships get. All up in my head about shit. And um, I called my boy to open up the Ferrari dealership. My boy, Zach, Lara, and SD. I told him to open up the dealership. He opened up at like 10.30, called his GM. They're like, hey, can we get Wes in that SF90, that one we got? And this is it. I mean, the SF90, you can't find a 2021, 500 miles. Find, find one for less than 700 right now. And, you know, you'd be doing everyone justice. But it ain't happened. These are going for about 800, 850. The spiders are going for a million dollars. So this right here, about 800,000, once all said and done, 
I mean, you gotta see the inside of this thing. It's got the, the side passenger display. It's got the craziest digital cluster, digital steering wheel you've ever seen. My boy the other day, we're leaving the gym. I said, you gotta drive it. And he's going about 120. I'm on, no, hit it, fool. Hit that motherfucker. And he went 184 from the gym to downtown. And I was just like, I was literally texting and fucking with like a, a cable for my phone. It was so smooth. This thing could go 220. Like that, you wouldn't even be tripping. If you have like the, the room, I don't know how fat. It was going 184, but he wasn't even hitting it all the way. This thing, when you gas it, it just wants more and more. So the crazy thing is, this is actually a hybrid. So right now it's in hybrid mode. You have to select gas mode, then you have to start it. Whole steering wheel, all these are digital. There's no real buttons in the car. Everything's electric, everything is digital. There's a digital display on the passenger side to switch uh, the songs, the tracks, the navigation navigation system even over here. I mean the side passenger display is sick. Here's the SF90. You know like Drake said in that song. This is the SF90, it's an ain't a McLaren. I got them IG models running my errands. You know what's up. But anyway, I'm gonna put some 22s on it. They're coming. 21s in the front, 22s in the back. Velos rims and they're all, all black. Uh, satin face, gloss lip. I like cars. It's just more variables. I mean, sometimes people just don't understand what they don't understand because they ain't researched it. They're just looking at cars like they're cars. But once you start to learn stuff about everything, it's, it's everything is about like taste and what you really like, you know? your baby mama's Urus, fool. That other Urus I had was a bitch Urus compared to this one. This motherfucker right here, this is that wide body, this is that fat bitch. Look at it from the front. Look how mean this thing is. That's that Novatech kit, Novatech wheels, Novatech exhaust, Novatech tuning package. This is the motherfucker. If you wanna drive a fun car, those ones are fun. The SF90 will murk anybody. People can't afford it. It's better than everyone else's Ferrari right now. That's the Ferrari right now. The Cullinan, you're rolling up classy. The Phantom, nobody's got them. But this thing, this thing drives like a motherfucker. Like if you never drove a Urus, other a tuned out one, it's a little bit dropped. I mean, this thing's sick as fuck. All the tail lights are blacked out. I might wrap it set. Everybody loves this gray though. This thing is just nasty. It's like a fat little car, dude. But you guys, this is what your dreams, like like I say, fuck dreams, we got goals. Fuck your goals, we got a system. But yeah, come on. Everybody probably got half these, you guys probably got half my fucking photos of my pad, my cars as screensavers. Fuck that shit, really live it. You can get it done. 2022 Urus wide body, 500,000. 494. Rolls Royce Cullinan, like I said, 2023, 500 miles on it, factory map paint, all options, 600K. SF90, 2022, it had 500 miles, 521. This one's 850. Phantom. 653, 2022, what do it have? 700 miles or something. If my cars get close to 10,000 miles, I'll burn them. You guys are like, oh Wes, why? What is all this, why? Because it's what I fucking want. You guys don't fucking get it. If you're still living in needs, you haven't made it to wants yet, you don't understand life. It's not like these are. this has got off of ill-gotten means or anything wrong. You guys have to have what you like in your your goal of what you're going for. I don't even like much in this life. Literally, I don't like much. I like coming back and looking at all my shit. Cause it reminds me of when I was living like shit. I was at the bottom, the straight fucking bottom, the low rock bottom, and how far I've come from my work ethic, from the mindset. And you guys who act like there doesn't have to be a result, 
from the mindset and all the knowledge you supposedly have, you don't get it. Because to know and not to do is not to know. And if we can't see, your shit's just hot air.